So, I was cleaning my basement recently. I found this guy, which is a really old piece of mild steel. And by really old, I mean like almost two years old. I started this a while ago, and because of the size of it, never got to finishing it because I wasn't really motivated. So, today I'm going to finish it and show you guys how to make a great sword. Um, you can see I've already got one of these edges pretty grinded down so far, but I'm going to use the angle grinder to complete that. And to get this tang shape, I used the angle grinder, which was definitely a mess. Um, I didn't really know anything about tangs back then or really the shape I needed. It's not a terrible shape, but I mean it could be better and there's a slight bend in this. I don't know if you guys can see that, so I don't know how that's going to work out with the handle, but I'll work on that when I get there. But first, like I said, I'm just going to get the angle grinder and work on both these edges and stick it on this saw horse. But, um, it's going to be a little bit hard to get shots, as I'm sure you guys have already noticed from this one, because there is snow everywhere and I'm not really a fan of putting my camera in the snow. So I'm only going to record a little bit of this process because this will probably take a few hours considering I have to do four bevels. But um, I'll record enough so you guys can know how to do it. I don't want to damage my actual sawhorse. So that's why I'm laying these boards down first because every now and then I may end up hitting this sawhorse. So you just tape boards to the top of it, that way you don't actually damage your equipment. Perfect. Okay, so I pretty much have an entire blade on this almost, but it's really rough. I hope you guys can hear me because I don't want to take off my mask because it's cold. But now that I have uh, pretty much an entire blade put on it, I'm switching from my grinding disc to a 80 grit sanding disc. Normally I have a little table this thing goes on, but I couldn't find it, so I'm just setting this on the deck. And I'm just gonna work out any little weird marks that this sword may have on it. I also wanna grind in right here, two little hollow holes, and mainly just to give the sword some character. So I'm gonna do that first. I'm actually gonna do it on the back wheel. But this step is really optional. It's just more for the looks of the sword. and make sure I have everything set up right. You can see the general idea going there, but I did not put any marks, that was just all freehand. So I'm gonna go put in two Sharpie marks so I know where the top is and I know where the bottom is. And I'll see you guys in a sec. After freehanding these, I still got them really even. I need to grind this one in a little bit deeper. But after I do that, I'm gonna check the entire length of the blade for like anything that maybe like right there, that could be ground down a little bit more on the belt sander and just cleaned up. So that's what I'm gonna be doing now. Okay, I am going to call that good on the blade. I'm just gonna get some hand sandpaper and just move along the edge of the blade. Straight on the edge. I did cut myself with it already. So it's sharp enough. But I think this is gonna be good for now. And I'm gonna start working on the hand guard now, which I will show you guys. You can really see how long this hand guard's been sitting around. There's a dead fly on it. I made this when I very first started making this sword, which like I said, was almost two years ago. 
I seated it up in the forge and smashed it and hit it in the middle. I don't even know what kind of metal this is. It's probably really nice stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and use it for the handguard still. And I need to refine the center. Okay, so this is the finished sword. And I feel like I just jumped really far ahead. So I'm gonna, whoops. And I feel like I just jumped really far ahead. So I'm gonna explain that really quick. There was a few things like making the hand guard and making the handle uh, I've done in other videos. And making this hand guard really wasn't, I didn't do anything fancy to it. I just drilled holes so it could slip over the tang. So that's why I didn't record too much of that. And the main reason I didn't do anything on the handle was because I just drilled a hole in a piece of wood and then beat it up on the belt sander. You guys can see it. And I actually have a way more detailed video, which I can leave a link to in the description, where I actually did a wooden pommel on it. And this one just has like a built-in wood pommel. Um, and then the last thing I did was I just drilled a hole here and tapped this in with some Gorilla Glue and attached this piece of Comfort Brass Damascus I made a while back. I let this sit in vinegar for a while, so it got a really rough bland taste on it. And I just left it like that. Although the brass is pretty shiny. So it kind of looks like clay with brass in it. And the reason I put it in vinegar was to get all this black soot off. But that might be a little bit of oil for my tongs. So that did not all come off. And I was going to make it into a heart originally. Um, but I thought that was too much like Kingdom Hearts. Which is actually the main reason I wanted to do this. And I thought it just looked okay rough. It kind of came out as its weird natural like shape. So I just left it on there like that. The overall length of this is four foot two and a half inches it comes up to about my chest i don't know if you guys can see it well i'm lifting it up now i hope you guys can get a shot of that coming up to the middle of my chest and this thing is massive i don't have a weight on it yet i'm gonna get a weight on it and then i'm gonna do a testing video and i know a lot of you are probably thinking oh this is just mild steel it's not gonna be able to do anything and it's gonna break well here's what i have to say to that probably won't break probably won't be anything super impressive though uh, the very first sword I made was out of mild steel, and I don't recommend it other than for practice now. At first, I didn't really know the difference, but it is really good for practicing, and you know, might as well make your first sword out of that so you're not wasting really nice metal that you spent a lot of money on. But the very first sword I made, I still have it hanging in my room. I heat treated it and everything, and I don't know why people say mild steel can't harden, because I swear that thing hardened. I have not ever chipped the tip on it or anything and I've like split wood with it I've cut so much stuff so honestly it doesn't make a terrible sword but it doesn't make like a very good sword this one uh, the reason like the blade is all gold and then a little bit purple uh, I took a blowtorch to it it was actually a lot brighter color but I let it soak in canola oil uh, first to keep that from rusting and second to give it the darker color because I didn't want it to be super bright I want it to be like more natural like faded in I think it turned out pretty nice because you still got some silver in these few spaces and then you got the gold and blue in between. I like it. And then you can see the angle grinder marks, how it's real like swishy or whatever. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, that looks really nice, I think. And I thought about trying to take that out with the belt sander before I colored it and all that jazz. But then I was like, that looks way too cool to mess with. I mean, like seriously, look at that. <laughs> it's a really unique sword. And I like it, um, you know, personally, it's just going to be for me, it's going to go on my wall. Because like I said, I started this sword like two years ago and never did anything with it. So, yeah, I just finished it up now and I really, really like it. So, yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. The reason I didn't get too detailed in this video is because I actually, I'm going to take you guys over. I just got this guy and I know there's a bunch of trash cans sitting here. But this guy, I'm going to make into a sword forge here pretty soon. So I'm going to be making all sorts of swords, and that's going to get a lot more detailed. I know there will be a lot higher quality videos, I think. So, and they're going to be forged, so it's going to be like really, really cool. It's going to open up like a whole new world of forging for me because I can't really do anything big in this guy. I mean, it's a good forge, but I need something like really big. So I'm excited for that. And anyway, that's all I have for this video, but I will see you guys in the next one.